Hello and welcome to your stimulus package and news report as of October 18th, 2020. This is also known as the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. Well, I got a, a few video clips for you of Nancy Pelosi being questioned. If you don't get that agreement in the 48 hour deadline, you said what happens? Well, here's the thing, the 48 only relates to if we want to get it done before the election, which we do. Well, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, so which we do. But we're saying to them, we have to freeze the design on some of these things. Are we going with it or not? And what is the language? I'm optimistic because, again, we've been back and forth on all but we Madam Speaker, our businesses. Even if you reach a deal with the White House somewhere around $1.82 trillion, uh, Leader McConnell has said he's not going to put something like that on the floor of the Senate. So what happens? Well, he, did, he, he said a number of things. And one of the things that he said, I think it was yesterday, was, but it was reported yesterday, uh, that is, if the White House and the House come to an agreement, uh, that he would put it on the floor. That is among his many statements. But most of the time he spends laughing, pushing the pause button, telling states to go bankrupt, laughing when in his debate, did you see that? When uh, Amy McGrath was saying to him, what are you doing about uh, uh, stopping the spread of the virus, etc.?" He laughed. He laughed. This is not funny. But to start off with, we have Mitch McConnell wanting to pass a half a billion dollar skinny bill. This half a billion dollar skinny bill has $100 billion for schools, money for testing, tracing, and vaccine development. It will include more unemployment, and a second round of paytech protection money. Tuesday, this coming up Tuesday, which is the 20th, the Senate will vote on this new skinny bill proposed by Mitch McConnell. And they will also vote on the measures of the leftover $135 billion from the CARES Act that is also paytech protection money and how it's going to be used. But for this to pass, it has to pass with a vote of 60 or more. And just because it passes the Senate does not necessarily mean it will pass the House because it is a skinny bill. And as we all know, Nancy Pelosi does not wish to pass any skinny or standalone bills because she does not feel that it is worth it because the language in these bills can be manipulated to the favor of whoever has written this bill. So we will see what happens as far as that goes. But as I said, I do have a few clips for you of Nancy Pelosi being grilled by someone. <laughs> and they're sort of informative, sort of not. So I will let you guys watch them and you guys decide whether you think what she has to say is worth your while or not. So if you'll please indulge me, I will be right back. So thank you. And welcome back. And as I said, I mean, as I repeated, from in, as I said in yesterday's broadcast, basically, President Trump has said that if he loses the election, that he will leave the country. He keeps saying that he will be going to Can. Oh, excuse me, he will go to Canada. Unfortunately, I do not believe the Canadians would actually want him there because he is a unnecessary, unwanted, useless person. Where I do think he'd really go would be to Russia, where he has all of his comrades in arms, where he could sell out the United States and all of our secrets to get himself out of the 400 billion, sorry, $400 million in debt that he has incurred upon himself. I mean, <clears throat> that's the only logical explanation. And then also, this is just me talking. This is not been proven or not. But President Trump, if you remember a while ago, he said he had contracted COVID-19 and how miraculously he covered from it, recovered from it in a few days according to uh, because of some sort of experimental antibodies and yet I think he is being untruthful with American people I do not believe he has ever had COVID-19 but yet Melania Trump and Baron Trump, his son are supposed to be both to be infected with COVID-19 <clears throat> Now, whether this is true or not is unknown at this present time. People say it is. But as far as Donald Trump being infected, I think it was a big hoax 
perpetrated by himself because he compared COVID-19 to the common flu. And it is a proven fact that this year alone, COVID-19 has killed more people worldwide than the flu has when it first came out. No, sort of. This is put it this way: it has killed more people this year alone than the flu has killed people in the past ten years, which is about more accurate. So we will see if this whole Senate and House Representative things passes with the stimulus checks and stimulus package because we the people are waiting for them to get off their butts and stop slacking and be more respectful to their citizens like Canada has been to their citizens as well as Europe and a few other countries have been to their citizens. The United States cares more about the rich and less about the poor. So if you're one of these poor people out there like I am, don't expect a lot of help from our government because they don't care about us. They only care about money and the stock market and themselves. And this is just me talking. This is a bunch of supposition. But I will actually end my broadcast at this present time. So thank you for joining me for this People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of October 16th, 17th, 18th. One of those three days, 2020. <laughs> Until then, you have a great Sunday. Bye.